Hey y'all, so today I'm coming to y'all with a cash stuffing video. So I have already uh, emptied out my coins, y'all. I keep all my coins over here. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I put them over here. It acts as a, this is a little spinning thing that I use for my markers and pens and stuff. Y'all see my little owl sitting right there? So I just put all my change in there. So before I start stuffing, I'm just going to empty um, my cash um, envelope little binder thing and y'all i would usually put this somewhere else like in my dollar savings challenge or you know just somewhere else oh and y'all don't forget about these fetch awards i already scanned these coupons i mean these receipts but don't sleep on that and i have a code down below if you want to use it but you can really just get the app and you know download the app and get your fetch reward but i would appreciate it if you use my code so I emptied out the coins and all the stuff that I didn't use. So I'm going to set this to the side because I'm not going to stuff that. Because we basically got everything. I got gas, don't need groceries, uh, and nothing for the house, y'all. Because I did that last week. So I'm good. I'm trying to do like a freezer empty out because I have so much stuff in there. Because y'all, I also have a weight loss channel. Trying to lose weight, y'all. But anyway, let's count these. It's all dollars, look like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So twenty-five dollars. I'm just gonna sit in this jar right here, y'all. Or when I if I need it again. Okay. Set this to the side. Now, went to the bank, and y'all, I'm trying something different. Y'all know, if y'all watched my previous videos, I um, try to leave $825 in the bank every week for my bills, but I think I'm gonna try to take out an amount for my mortgage, because I think my mortgage payment finna change, but we gonna see. But anyway, I just wanna make sure I always have my mortgage payment, okay? Because I'm trying to, you know, save for these holidays, and I just, you know, I wanna make sure everything on the up and up this mortgage. Anyway, let me count this. So it's one, I mean, 51, 52, uh, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 390, 410, 430, 431, 2, 3, 4, 5, 435, y'all, hey, these, uh, going from these 50 to these 20s, I don't like that, mm-mm, don't like that. So let's see what I'm going to stuff today. So I got the envelopes over here that I'm gonna try to do. So the dental, I don't know if y'all remember me talking about this, but my daughter, uh, she might need braces, so we need to go to a consult. So the consult is 250, so I should have 200 in here. I need to add 50 more. So let's see, that's 51, 20, 40, 60, 82. So that's $200 and I'm just gonna add this 50 and it'll be 250, so. 51, 150, 170, 190, yeah, 190, 210, 230, 250. So that's 250 in the dental envelope for the orthodontist appointment. Okay, and then for the um, mortgage, y'all look at this, let me show y'all this real quick. So it's a fight going on this weekend. My husband, he think he's slick. Now I hadn't told him about these envelopes. I told him if you got it in the envelope, then you can watch it. You know, I mean, I don't tell my husband what to do, y'all. You know, we compromise, but, you know, I, I basically tell him. So it ain't nothing in these envelopes, but I left something in the bank for him this time. So let me find this uh, bill envelope for the mortgage. So like I say, uh, let me see how much I'm going to put in there. Probably 300 So that's 51 52 that's 200 and then 20 40 60 80 100 so that's $300 that I'm going to put in for the mortgage. 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. 300 that I have for the mortgage. Y'all, I hope I'm not going too fast, but I'm just trying to, you know. And I set these envelopes over here to show y'all. So, like, this is what I should be stuffing. But since I'm on my grind to try to just save, save, you know, I'm not going to really be filling them. I'm just gonna be using the money as I go. So I have one for Christmas, online shopping, after Christmas, Black Friday, this is for Halloween, 
and it's just an extra envelope. And y'all, ch uh, child tax credit, I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's something dealing with kids, people that got kids. Uh, it's like an early um, income tax thing. I don't, I don't even know what it's called, it's just child tax. But we don't spend ours, and we get two fifty every month for my youngest daughter. The reason why I don't spend it, I put it in other envelopes because I don't want them to come back on me and say, oh, we owe this tax. So, you know, if it come when we um, do our taxes and we don't have to pay nothing, then I will put it in some envelopes. So right now we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 750. So that's such a blessing. All right. So sorry, y'all. About that shaking so this is taken care of and i'm gonna show y'all what i just did because the video had got messed up so i say let me record this over so i've already um did the ones that i wanted to do but let me show y'all this again so i just got this off of etsy uh it's at india k budgets I'm not sure if this is her Etsy name, but this is her Instagram name, I believe. But I'm going to put her uh, Etsy shop on the um, screen. But this is a no-spend challenge. Child, I thought it was so cute. And plus, she supported me, so I want to support her. You know, I love supporting small businesses, y'all. That's why I can't wait to save so I can get on that Etsy. But anyway, it's a no-spend challenge. It says, challenge yourself to a, challenge yourself to a go, challenge yourself to go a month without spending money. So, child, I ain't going to be able to do that, but I do want to have more non-spending days. So, that's what I'm gonna, That's how I'm going to do this, you know? So, I thought this was so cute. Thank you, girl, for this uh, listing. Okay, so this is what I saved, y'all. So, I'm just going to go back through it. Now, this is on my Etsy shop. It's called, Will Your, apple, will your Holiday Pie Be Apple Pecan? Or maybe a little mixture of Apple Pecan. So, I just... Uh, circled the pecan because they were twenty dollars. So I'm gonna get the twenty dollars and I'm gonna put it back in the thing. And the pecans are worth ten dollars, but I just wanted to do. I mean, the apple is worth ten dollars, but I just did a pecan. And here is another thing that's on my uh, Etsy shop. To not cross your path, it'll cost you. So you'll just put in what you want each black cat to represent. Happy Halloween. And then here's one that's on my Etsy shop as well. Y'all, it's beginning to smell, taste, and everything else fall. And it just have like the sense and the taste of, you know, what fall usually is. It's like apple cider, pecan pie, uh, caramel popcorn. Excuse me, one of my favorites, candy corn. That's why I marked it. So let me put the 20 in here for the candy corn. Because mine are representing $20. You can put in whatever you want yours to represent. And here's another one that I did. This is on my Etsy shop. It's enjoy the blessings of the harvest from the first Thanksgiving till now. Happy Thanksgiving. And these are just foods and stuff for what they had when first, when it was the first Thanksgiving, like corn, fish, lettuce, you know, stuff like that. And then what we have now, like cakes, dressing, pumpkin pie, stuff like that. And I chose the pumpkin pie, which is $22. So that's 20 and then two. Let's okay. just put that in the thing. All right, so those are the ones that I did from my Etsy shop. And I will be adding more. I just haven't got to it yet. So then, as y'all know, if y'all watched my video yesterday, I have a budgeting book with uh, savings challenges in them as well. So I decided to do the take the good with the better, but I'm only doing the uh, good. I'm not doing it with the better because, you know, you will usually put it together, like put two amounts together if you can. But I'm not doing that. So I just did the $3. And then I also... Oh, I just keep shaking my thing. Sorry, y'all. I'm also... I also did the... Does the plant need sun or water to grow? I did the sun, which is $20. So those are the only two that I did out of the book. So that was $23. So here's the $23, y'all. 20 21 22 23 So now I'll just count what's back here. And like I say, y'all... Uh, whatever this amount is, it might not be this amount when I come back. Uh, when I come back to stuff, and then it might be, I don't know. It's just that I'm trying to get on my grind and get my baby's Christmas stuff and, you know, get stuff that I need for the holidays and stuff. But, prayerfully, next year I won't have to do this. 
because I have envelopes for everything. 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So $85, y'all. I'm just going to sit it back here. So that's it for today. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I hope that y'all will come back. So please subscribe and like and tell your friends. Thank you so much.